Well, we're finally here. Years in the planning. We're here in Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada, in the United States, for the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix in 2023. A long circuit, 6.1 kilometers, taking down the strip with two DRS zones and one incredible long overtaking opportunity. We should hopefully see loads of overtakes today, but who will be the drivers who will be making the difference? Here's the starting grid then on pole. Elliot West starts on pole alongside a surprise Alexander Albon. Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc take the second row. Lewis Hamilton looking to finish ahead of West today for his championship hopes. Lando Norris in fifth and Sergio Perez in sixth, following by Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso, two time world champions, on row four. Lance Stroll and Oscar Piastri on row five, and that rounds out the top ten. It's now time for the Las Vegas Grand Prix and it's lights out and away we go. Good start from Alex Albon but Hamilton's not got away well at all. Charles Leclerc's going to look down the inside coming into turn one. Already being swamped, the championship contender is already losing out on turn two. What a horrible start for Lewis Hamilton but Sergio Perez is right on Hamilton's tail and the Mercedes is in big big trouble. West gets away okay, Albon gets away okay as well and holds position but Hamilton is in huge huge trouble he's gonna have to make some ground up into on this first lap Alex Albon though holding up the pack and West is trying to make a break not a not a good start though at all for Lewis Hamilton as we come into the MSG Sphere section one of Las Vegas' new huge icons and now we come down Sands Avenue all the way towards the strip and it's all looking too formal and too tidy from all 20 drivers here. Leclerc all the way down towards turn 12 now, holding position. Now this is where things get interesting. Have you got the engine power? Down the strip, all the way down through the, through the Mirage, Caesars and the Bellagio. Down the strip we go and Albon's going to challenge West for the lead. Look what a, what a move this could be for the Williams. Alexander Albon down the right hand side he's going to tuck back in for the slipstream might he have a go into turn 14 this is going to be exciting but he can't get there Lewis Hamilton trying to stick a nose down the inside of Charles Leclerc but it's all held and very very nicely done keeping it tidy on lap 1 but as we tick over this is going to where things get interesting who is going to hold the lines and Charles Leclerc is right on the back of Alex Albon here can he get a move maybe down, down into turn 1 and not quite enough I don't think for Charles Leclerc but West controls the lead on lap 1 and let's see what happens for him will he run away into the distance or will he be held back as Albon I don't think he's going to try and pull a gap here but Charles Leclerc might have another look down here as we come down Coval Lane Albon though is doing an absolutely brilliant job of holding up and holding position a few moves down the back, Logan Sargent taking on Esteban Ocon, but now through past the MSV Sphere once again as we come down towards Sands Avenue once more, West almost hitting the wall uh, as he came out of turn turn nine, not quite, uh, not quite a tidy driver, we've seen it all season. And here we ride on board with the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc, find a breaking point as we come onto this strip once again and Lewis Hamilton following just behind he's gonna have a go maybe down if he can get the slipstream right and use the battery power of the ERS system on his Mercedes to get all the way down the strip but Leclerc's gonna make a move on Albon here what's gonna happen here down in towards turn 14 right at the end of the strip Leclerc's got the outside but Albon might hold the inside what's gonna happen here and Albon just holds and push, pushes Leclerc out now this could play into Hamilton's hands quite nicely if this is going to hold up the group but Hamilton's pulling out onto Leclerc might he take one into the final corner and Lewis Hamilton takes third place he's back in contention again in today's race but Albon is doing a huge huge job of holding up the pack and creating a huge battle a huge little gaggle of cars stretching all the way back to ninth but here we are, the DRS is now enabled, so Lewis Hamilton will have that extra 15 kilometers per hour of speed coming down, looking to the outside, and Lewis Hamilton 
being pushed out by Alex Albon, but he's got the inside still for the next corner as we come into the sphere section. And Hamilton gets down the inside very, very nicely. And now he's going to have to look down to chase the championship rival of Elliot West. Coming back down onto Sands Avenue and Perez and Verstappen are neck and neck looking to get maybe a bit of position before the long strip down towards the turn 14 section. Who will come out on top as we get out through the strip? DRS section down here as well. Here's Sergio Perez and he's got the DRS and he might look to make a move on Charles Leclerc but Alex Albon's coming back on Lewis Hamilton and this is incredible stuff. Alex Albon retakes second place as Lewis Hamilton really struggling with no DRS, no detection down the strip but this is getting tight here. Lewis Hamilton stuck on wheel in but Alex Albon holds position and gets second place back. Charles Leclerc is also trying to get in the mix but Sergio Perez round his tail this is an incredible battle down in the Las Vegas here tonight but Albon keeping position in turns one and two and now we string round as we come back onto Coval Lane once again DRS this time for Lewis Hamilton finding Alex Albon and he goes to the left hand side he'll have the outside line for the corner but he gets it done so easily no need to use the brakes to get ahead there straight line speed of that Mercedes has really worked out well for them this season coming into the MSG sphere section then it's all looking very tidy and very good these battles here here at Las Vegas but West has pulled out a five second gap because of this Hamilton and Albon and Leclerc battle and it's worked out very very nicely for him that will help him save his tyres on this first stint but Leclerc now going to look to get past Alex Albon on the strip the only thing Leclerc will need to be wary of is Albon will have DRS on Lewis Hamilton as well might he be able to sneak down the inside we'll see but it's a whole long gaggle of cars that are being held up from the Alex Albon being in second place earlier Hamilton will pull to the right hand side as Albon goes sailing through again and Leclerc was looking to the outside of Lewis Hamilton but Albon locks up and that's a small mistake that could cost his tyre life but it's going to be all safe and sound for Alex Albon as we come back onto the start finish straight Lewis Hamilton looking to the inside and swooping through into second place once again but Lewis Hamilton keeping position quite nicely as we enter lap 5 Alex Albon is doing a momentous job of doing this. He's been incredible for Williams so far this season. The previous 21 rounds he's been quite impressive. Charles Leclerc now looking to the left hand side as he's going to look to do the move on the outside. Al Alex Albon's been brilliant at defence. They almost touch going into the MSG sphere section but this is quite incredible this. As we go past the season's forum Albon holding the outside line. I don't think he's going to have it here but he's got the inside line back again for the corner. Leclerc Searching the inside again as we come onto onto uh, Sands Avenue, and Leclerc and Albon are side by side as we go towards the strip. As we come towards turn 12, Leclerc and Albon holding it side by side, and I think Albon's going to have to yield here. Leclerc still as they go side by side on the strip Perez and Verstappen might get involved as well here this is getting very exciting we could be free wide down the strip here comes Albon he's through past the clear but Verstappen might have something to say about it as well Max Verstappen sails from the back into the into third place and that is a driver of a world champion an overtake of a world champion and Perez might try and sneak through as well past Albon this will really help the Red Bulls but Max has got a bit of a gap and so has Perez as we come back onto the uh, start finish straight once again brilliant work from the Red Bulls and brilliantly timed on the strip to make sure they've secured third and fourth place but as we come back onto Koval Lane once again it's going to be DRS and some overtakes going into the Caesars Forum section but Lewis Hamilton's got a bit of room to breathe now. He's got a seven second gap to West, but West is slowly pulling away. It's not looking good. 
for his championship hopes today. He needs something big to get, try and get into the lead. Of course, the championship gap currently would stand at 11 points. West with the fastest lap currently on track. But Albon and Leclerc might have Norris and Alonso clipping at their heels. One of Britain's favourite drivers, Lando Norris, and the experienced veteran two-time world champion Matador, Fernando Alonso, as we come onto the strip now. Eight temps, he'll have DRS here Albon, so he might be able to defend from Leclerc, but this will be very, very interesting to see if the Red Bulls can hold their position as they come down into turn 14. Going past Caesars Palace and the Flamingo as we all rush down towards turn 14. Perez will have it on Verstappen here and he looks at the outside but it's not quite enough. But Leclerc and Norris battling as well and Norris pushed to the outside. I don't think he's got the position. Leclerc holds but Perez is really really flying here and challenging his teammate. Something we've not expected all season. But West the gap's dropped to 5.3. He might have made a mistake somewhere. But Hamilton slowly closing in. But here are the Red Bulls now. Verstappen and Perez helping well, Perez helping Verstappen back in 2021 when he had his title fight with Hamilton. And a teammate last season who didn't really get to challenge Verstappen in the championship all that well. The Red Bulls haven't really been anywhere this season, unfortunately. But Verstappen coming around to the MSG Sphere section. Slowly closing up on Lewis Hamilton behind. Hamilton's dropped the gap to 5.1 seconds. And, well, I think Verstappen might have to do some defending on the strip here. Because Perez is even closer than he was before on the previous lap. Albon just over a second. They might be able to break away here, the Red Bulls. But Max Verstappen onto the strip now as Sergio Perez follows and chases. What will Sergio Perez do here? DRS open, he's going to come down the strip and pull to the right hand side. This is Sergio Perez on Max Verstappen and he takes third place away from Max Verstappen. The Dutchman powerless to defend from the DRS as Albon and Leclerc fighting once again as they drop down the order and Leclerc's now on the outside and pushes Albon towards the left hand wall of Albon doing a brilliant job to defend from the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc but now Lando Norris might have a bit of a say in this Lando Norris sticking a wheel on the inside he's gonna hold side by side with Leclerc going into turn one here comes Norris down the inside and he's got that move very very nicely done but he's gonna have to defend it here as we come round the Rochelle Avenue intersection into the into Coval Lane once again. DRS open for both. It's going to be a drag race to see whose power unit's best. But Fernando Alonso is also getting involved, and Norris has to cut off Fernando Alonso. But Alonso's trying the outside here, and he might have it here going into the MSG sphere. What can he do here? And Fernando Alonso takes sixth place, and he's down the inside, and it's quite nice. But Norris has a wheel inside once again. What a battle this is! Alonso's still there, and I think he's held out, maybe. But we're going to be going side by side down towards the strip here. Fernando Alonso, the experienced Matador against Norris. The young Brit, he's going round the outside, Norris, but he can't quite hold it. Fernando Alonso keeps sixth place, but this is going to be another drag strip. Another drag down the strip. This is incredible. Leclerc got the slip swing off Alonso. And might Lance Stroll have another say in this? They're both too wide, maybe four wide going down the strip. And Leclerc will take it quite nicely. And takes sixth place back with three wide going down. Fernando Alonso and Norris and Stroll. But Alonso dives deep and he might have sixth place back. This is incredible. Lap A to the Las Vegas Grand Prix. And look at Leclerc. Leclerc holding the outside. Here comes Fernando Alonso as he comes down the inside at turn one. This is a battle that's stretched two sectors nearly as Alonso holds out and keeps sixth place. And Albon has managed to get a bit of a buffer now. Three seconds to Perez in front, sorry. And 
Verstappen and Perez are fighting it out and getting very, very close. The lead, though, four seconds between West and Hamilton today. Three point seven. West is sort of dropping off here. And here comes Alonso, and Leclerc's got passed once again on Fernando Alonso, and now Leclerc might want to break. He will get the DRS Alonso down the straight of the Las Vegas Strip, but this is quite exciting as he comes down into the turn 12 section right on the edge of the fashion show mall. But here comes Verstappen on and Perez once again. Perez pulling to the right hand side, close to the wall. Verstappen not giving an inch. But, but Hamilton, 3.3 seconds now. He is catching, and so is Perez and Verstappen. We will come to the first round of pit stops very, very soon, in about five laps time. Some of the soft runners will want to get their very worn and old soft tyres off their car for a, probably a fresh set of mediums. But here comes Verstappen. He's going to look towards Perez once again, and not quite the switch he wanted at turn one. But Verstappen will have the DRS as he comes through into the Koval Lane section. Perez not doing enough really to get to Lewis Hamilton so he can keep his position. But Verstappen holds, held back by the by the slipstream. The length of the, of the straight wasn't quite enough for him. But here we are into the MSG sphere. Newly constructed within the past two years. He's, it's been a a new marvel of Las Vegas people on Twitter saying what should we do with it what should we put on it but Perez and Verstappen still fighting it out 1.3 the gap between Hamilton and Perez but Verstappen will want to clear um, Lewis Hamilton or Perez sorry very quickly and try and get on the back of Hamilton here but Verstappen is really being held back by Perez and he's gonna have the DRS as we go down the strip once again and the slipstream and the slingshot right round the outside. Verstappen getting close again to the wall like Perez did in the previous one. But Verstappen takes third place away from Sergio Perez. And he's now within one second of Lewis Hamilton in, in second. Lando Norris going down the inside of Fernando Alonso. Alonso is going to stick a wheel. But Leclerc has a good, good little bit of range between them but Verstappen still holding on to Sergio Perez it is just a second now between the two of them and look at Perez he's going to be right on Verstappen's tail going on to Koval Lane once again DRS open but so and Verstappen I don't think has got the DRS but Sergio Perez looking to the outside as we come into turn, turn five and Verstappen's going to have the inside he's going to hold it as we go towards the MSG Sphere once again, side by side, Verstappen on the soft, Perez on the on the medium, and Perez is really, really holding it. And Verstappen still got a wheel on the inside. I don't know if they just the tyres are are not working for Verstappen, the soft tyre compound. The Perez seems to be on a better race tyre than Verstappen. It's de degraded very quickly. Here comes Perez, looking to the left. Has to come back on the strip. But there's the expected tyre life. About 15 laps for the soft, 20 for the medium and the hard tyre. 25 laps. But I don't think the hard will be the tyre of choice. Unless there's a bit of a strategy at play. Maybe a red flag, for example. But the gap between West and Hamilton, the two championship rivals, 3.6 seconds as we come off the strip. And Verstappen and Perez are really, really going to fight this out as we come back across the line. The two Red Bulls. I don't think we've ever seen a fight between the two Red Bulls. Not since Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber in 2013. But here we are. Verstappen and Perez are going into turn one and two now. Perez will have the slipstream and the DRS as we come onto Koval Lane once again. But Alex Albon has been caught up by Leclerc and Norris here and Alex Albon will have, potentially have to yield. He's on the soft tyre, Leclerc on the medium, but Charles Leclerc pulling to the right hand side. He's got the inside line here as we go into turn five. 
and the Caesars Forum and this is oh it's close from Alex Albon he's really held quite tightly up against the wall Charles Leclerc taking fifth place then away from Alexander Albon but the two Red Bulls are still fighting it out here this is quite the spectacle Perez gets third place away from Max Verstappen but Max Verstappen will come onto the strip once more and he will have a go at Sergio Perez once again it's like swapping and changing but the gap between first and second has gone down to 2.2 I think West is making a mistake somewhere but Verstappen will pull to the right hand side and that is so nerve wracking because you get close to the wall when you pass on that right hand side but Verstappen takes third place once again away from Sergio Perez the two Alpines and well, Gasly's dropped two positions is uh, I believe they're down the strip but uh, we will see here I believe Logan Sargent's also made an early stop on here for tyres in his Williams but Alexander Albon I believe has just entered the pit lane so he will be changing tyres a bit of an interesting strategy call, maybe they're banking on a safety car here today but Perez will look to the left hand side, look to the outside as they come into the Caesars Forum at turn 5 and Max Verstappen is forced out, as Sergio Perez right round the outside as we come into turn 7 and 8 it's a very clever complex, a very tricky complex of corners but Vers Hamilton's got the gap down to 1.5 as well so this could be quite interesting Lewis Hamilton the gap is down to now 1.3 1. 1. 1.2 as we come onto the strip and West getting a huge tank slapper coming out of turn 12 but I don't think Hamilton will have the DRS yet but West will need to pull out a gap if he wants to keep this lead we will see Lewis Hamilton you reach speeds of 350 kilometers per hour as you come down the strip braking very hard a free 4G as you enter the last sector on Harmon Avenue but Lewis Hamilton 1.6 seconds as he comes across the line and the championship standings look a bit bleak for Lewis Hamilton fans 11 points between them going into the final race at Abu Dhabi if it stays this way of course that does include West's fastest lap point but we will soon be coming to the first round of stops I'm quite interested to see what will happen between these two will Mercedes have the cars inverted or will they uh, drop back through the field or stay out a bit longer Hamilton definitely will stay out a bit longer but West will have to pit on lap 15 potentially and West oh he hit the wall I think he brushed the wall coming out there but it's going to be interesting Lewis Hamilton now 1.3 coming onto the strip and Alonso and Norris are fighting out again this group this group of four cars the two Astons Ferrari and the McLaren of Lando Norris are just battling it out straight for the past 12 laps this has been incredible to watch and Norris is being tailed by Alonso and he will be tailed on the strip and potentially overtaken here as Alonso and Leclerc and Stroll will have the DRS Alonso now to the right hand side and he will pull Leclerc looking to go to the left Norris is being absolutely swamped here and now Lance Stroll might have a look and to look to follow through Leclerc but Norris is being absolutely shafted as he comes through and into the into uh, Harman Avenue once again and I believe Verstappen's in the box Verstappen pits so he's a very very early one could he get the undercut maybe on the two Mercedes up ahead it was a very risky decision but another set of softs for Max Verstappen so that could suggest he's going to do a, a two-stop strategy today. Go all the way to lap 30, then box once more, maybe for a set of mediums. But Lewis Hamilton is still chasing West. He's really doing quite well to hold on 
um, and catch the gap and close the gap. Sorry, but 1.1 to West now, and I think West's tyres have gone off, and their race pace is slowly diminishing. But Lewis Hamilton will need to take advantage of that if he wants to get the undercut. Breaking now as we come onto the strip. Lewis Hamilton, 1.5 seconds behind Elliot West as we come on and accelerating all the way to 350 km per hour as we zoom past Caesars Palace to the Bellagio once more. And this circuit has been years in the making. Ever really since Daniel Ricciardo said, let's get a race in Vegas in that famous press conference. The third American venue. I think West was trying to call Lewis's bluff. And uh, he's going to start for an extra lap and see what happens on these tyres. But Lewis Hamilton is going to hold. Hold suit as we come through Rochelle Avenue and back onto Coval Lane. All of these are public roads. This Las Vegas is a street circuit, it's a temporary one. And unlike anything we've ever seen, we came back here, we came in the 80s as Formula One, but uh, never really materialised. Uh, and West goes straight on at the, cur at the uh, 7, 8, 9 section. And now Lewis Hamilton will potentially have a very good run at West on the strip. I don't know what the gap is. But West did go straight on. He's received a warning from the stewards. It's quite interesting here. And I think West tyres are completely shot because Lewis Hamilton has gathered another seven tenths just from that section alone. And Lewis Hamilton now will have the DRS as he comes down the strip. West will try to break the toe, but this might not be enough as Lewis Hamilton comes sailing towards West's rear, rear wing and pulls to the right hand side. And this might be a cue for West to box, but West still going to hold it. And this is so tight, he's pushed Lewis Hamilton a bit wide, but West still holds position and still holds first place. Now, will Lewis... Oh, West box first. West will get the undercut here then. Lewis Hamilton will need to box and give it everything on this extra lap. If they're going on, Perez goes through as well, but Elliot West into the box. What size is he going to go on? I believe it's the medium. And a nice stop by the Mercedes pit crew. Fernando Alonso, he's going to come out. I think he might come out behind Max Verstappen, who has got an incredible undercut here. And Max Verstappen, there he is, sailing past Oscar Piastri. But West and Mercedes have been absolutely trumped by the Red Bull of Max Verstappen and his strategy. And well, as we come on to Coval Lane, West will not have the DRS. We'll still chase Oscar Piastri. Here's the group of four who are who have been battling pretty much all race long. None of them have stopped yet. But here comes Lando Norris. Fan favourite out here in the States and West is going sailing through past Piastri and now he will go and chase Max Verstappen and oof almost against the wall. Here comes West once again. We'll be down the strip now. He's not going to have the DRS on Max Verstappen, but we'll see who boxes next. I believe Lewis Hamilton will box. For Mercedes, and so will Sergio Perez. And this is where the round of pit stops, pit stops gets interesting. West really gained on Verstappen a straight line speed. I believe Mercedes said he put a new engine in this weekend just for the next two races so he can try and secure the championship. But here comes West, he's going to pull to the left hand side as Max Verstappen yields and he comes straight into third place. Hamilton's onto the medium as well, but he's going to lose out to both West and Verstappen who have sailed through and he might have trouble with Piastri here if he can stay ahead and he has stayed ahead. Quite fortunately.
but Lance Stroll leads the Grand Prix and leads a lap. I believe this is the first lap he's led in his career, but West will have to come across the line here into the MSG sphere and push his stroll and kind of dim dampens on his moment. But now Verstappen will need to get past. West on the fresher tyres and oh a little he's very, very slidey coming out of uh, turn nine. But Verstappen really, really going for it here. Hamilton though will come back. He hasn't got the DRS, but Lance Stroll and Max Verstappen will battle it out. This might be a cue for Lance Stroll to go into pit lane and get some new new tyres on because he's being absolutely swamped and swarmed and this will drop him down the order. The longer he stays out, the more time he's going to lose. To the original group of Leclerc, Norris and Alonso. Ocon is currently splitting the two of them, but Perez, I believe, has sailed past Piastri as well. As Piastri comes into the pit lane, and Lance Stroll finally pits for Aston Martin. And the pit limiter will come on, and Piastri also in, and it's a okay stop. Albon will retain fifth. Another set of median for Lance Stroll. So they're looking for a soft finish and a soft stint right at the end of the Grand Prix that could really work in their favour if they get it right but West retakes the lead of the Grand Prix and now he's going to look to build on Max Verstappen but Verstappen on fresh tyres is quick very very quick even and this is an absolute fight for the ages once again Four teams in the midfield are looking to try and pass Fernando Alonso. But Alex Albon still holding out ahead. Another set of softs for him. But here comes Esteban Ocon. I believe also did an early pit stop and has maybe profiteered from a bit of the undercut. But here comes Ocon down the strip. He's going to have DRS on Fernando Alonso, and so will Leclerc, and so will Norris. But Leclerc sails to the right hand side, and it's so close, maybe going free wide on Fernando Alonso here. But Ocon will take the place of Fernando Alonso, and I think Leclerc might take another place off Fernando Alonso here. Side by side as we go through. 14, 15 and 16 onto Harmon Avenue once more as we go past what is well on the right apparently is Top Golf. Very popular game for people. And I believe Perez has come to a stop on track. Sergio Perez is out of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Yellow flags into turn one. He's pulled off to the side. That's gotta be an engine and component failure. Such a shame for Sergio Perez. But it might be delight for Lewis Hamilton. As he is looking to catch. But Max Verstappen has really caught on to the back of West here. He'll have DRS down the strip. But Verstappen on the soft tyres will definitely have the advantage on West here. Fresh softs versus fresh mediums. You're going to have the advantage. Here comes the Red Bull and Max Verstappen. It's point nine right now. It's been right on the edge but he will try and get the move done as we come down the strip once more Max Verstappen in clean air fresh tyres will he pass the championship leader he's going to pull to the left hand side as we come into 14, 15 and 16 and West falls out and I think oh, oh he's gone damage Verstappen damage for Max Verstappen he's clipped his front wing on the court, on the curb on the wall, oh, so he clipped his front wing on the wall, sorry, and he's going to come into the box onto pit lane to replace his front wing, and that is disastrous for the Red Bull driver, the world champion. And I think West might have just squeezed him into the wall slightly, but a disaster for Red Bull within the space of five minutes a retirement and a broken front wing. 
This is not a good day for the team based in Milton Keynes. I don't believe West had any damage, but if there is damage, he will have a few issues, and Hamilton might be rubbing his hands together. Alonso and Leclerc are really trying to fight this out here. As Alonso comes into the MSG Sphere section, going to ride on board with the front nose of Fernando Alonso and but well Alex Albon the gap is coming down uh, between Albon and Leclerc but it's not really been substantial enough if they all work together and bring the car forward they might be able to get something out of this here today but here comes Esteban Ocon. Sorry, not Ocon, it's Leclerc and Norris and Alonso. All at the front here and they all fire into position as they come round into the 14, 15, 16 session. Almost reminds you of the old Singapore sling as they go through that little bit there onto Harmon Avenue once more as Alonso does a brilliant, brilliant job of holding his position. He's keeping fourth place and will now look to catch Alex Albon. But the DRS on Koval Lane might just scupper his plans. He's got the gap under a second, but I don't think he's going to have DRS here. It's just a bit too late. But Norris will pull to the left-hand side. No, oh, he's just a little under-breaking, a bit unstable. But look at that, that's incredible. From Fernando Alonso. To hold position. I don't think he moved in the braking zone, which is technically illegal. But Albon has now fallen back into the traps of Alonso, Norris and Leclerc. But West and Hamilton once again are... Well, they're going to be battling, I think, very, very soon. Or we will see what happens here. But here we are then, back as Alexander Albon looks to defend from Fernando Alonso and keep third position as we hurtle down the strip. But Alonso will go to the right hand side, the Matador in the Aston Martin looking to take third place. And Norris might get involved as well. Leclerc falling into place, and Albon just manages to hold on to fourth at least. But Fernando Alonso takes third place and will now look to build that gap. And through we go on to the start finish straight once again. Lap 23 of 50 here today at Las Vegas. And what a race it's been so far. Battles every single lap, everywhere you go. There's some sort of duel on the track. But now Albon will have to defend from Norris in Leclerc. Norris pulls the right hand side. It's so close to the wall once again. But Norris pulling into the inside. And Leclerc might follow through here. But he opts behind Alex Albon and get the inside line for the next turn. But Albon and Norris going side by side. And Albon might just have to yield to Lando Norris. And he does have to unfortunately. But the Williams putting up a great fight. Here in the Las Vegas night, here comes Leclerc, looking as he comes onto the strip, and this might be so, so close. Here he comes, and he's just going to keep it tucked in behind the rear wing of Alex Albon. Hurtling down the strip now, as Leclerc and Albon go wheel to wheel to try and get this sorted here. Can Leclerc get past Alex Albon? Ops. For the left hand side, no! He might have Norris as well! Leclerc, three wide down into turn 14, and Leclerc sails down the inside, and Norris might have a bit of a thing to say about that one. Because it was a bit shaky, but it was done to perfection by Charles Leclerc. Here comes Norris now, he might have a look going into turn one, he will, and Nor Albon, oh he's turning inside, and Albon is keeping it tight, but Norris keeping it to perfection as we go through onto Koval Lane once again. I tell you what, 
this circuit has just thrown up surprise and surprise today. But two seconds is the gap, or 2.3 seconds, the gap between Western Hamilton up front. The championship still the same. So we're coming up to halfway through in this incredible race here around Las Vegas. Orlando Norris looking to tail Charles Leclerc as we come onto the onto the strip. But Lance Stroll, Sainz and Ocon are all looking now to look to try and get the DRS to pass Lance Stroll for seventh position. Any points in the mid in the championship will really help the midfield out with their championship hopes. That extra million can mean so much of a difference in prize money. As we come down the strip now, Carlos Sainz, the smooth operator, looking to get past Lance Stroll. He's tucked into the right hand side, and La Lance Stroll defending the inside now. As Carlos Sainz is pushed to the right outside, the outside, and Sainz is held off by Lance Stroll. But Esteban Ocon will fly into the pits, and we'll see what happens here ties he will go on but Verstappen is also coming back through the field he's really going to try and make a fight today fresh tyres once again and a new front wing it's very unfortunate I think he could have taken the lead of the race if he really wanted to Max Verstappen today but that Red Bull dropped down the order as a result of that earlier incident three seconds now the gap between the front two Alonso, 15 seconds behind Lewis Hamilton. But a safety car can change things very, very quickly. But Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc now going through the few sections past the Wynn Hotel and onto turn 12. Coming now onto the strip as we go past Winners Plaza. But now Norris and Leclerc, Leclerc with the DRS as he comes and pulls to the right hand side as we go down the strip and Leclerc getting inches from the wall once again. Some of these moves are just too close for comfort today but no Leclerc sails around the outside of Lando Norris and there we are lap 25 has begun and we begin the second half of the Grand Prix. This is going to get very, very exciting now as Verstappen is now going to challenge Lance Stroll for sixth place. He's making a motoring effort through the field once again and he only has to come off those tyres and he can go immediately to the end. But a very impressive drive today from Max Verstappen and a very impressive recovery drive. But here we are then, onto Coval Lane as we make our way down towards turn five at the Caesars Forum and he pulls the left hand side, you have the outside for the corner making it look very easy the world champion has done a brilliant brilliant job to keep his car in front and Sainz I believe has gone into the pits so for Stappen and Stroll I think now we'll battle it out Stroll's keeping with Verstappen, he's not. Might have just been a bit too much for Verstappen's tyres, the tyre drop offs just a bit too much. But Leclerc and Norris will now look to get the strip slipstream and the DRS on Fernando Alonso as we go down the strip once again. Here comes Leclerc all the way down the long, long straight of the Las Vegas Boulevard. Pulling to the left hand side, here comes Leclerc with the DRS and Norris might try to tuck in behind Alonso here. No dive bomb from Fernando Alonso but Charles Leclerc in the Monza livery bumps his way up to third place and what a battle this is turning out to be. Orlando Norris, he doesn't really have the straight, straight line speed of the Aston Martin is held, held back by the McLaren's power unit as a customer to Mercedes. not really got the upgrades that Mercedes do on their engine this season. Orlando Norris, DRS wide open, can he get a bit closer? But 
No, it's not the case. Leclerc goes deep and very, very deep. It's a small mistake from Charles Leclerc. But that nearly could have been costly. Straight in the wall, maybe, in Las Vegas, and that would have been all over for the Monegasque. But Norris following Fernando Alonso through. Lap 27 of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. 22, 23 laps to go. To become flying down Sands Avenue and past the Wynn Hotel and now on to the Las Vegas Strip and this is one of probably one of the coolest settings for a Formula 1 race ever Lando Norris flying down the strip he's got the DRS but Alonso will fly through past Charles Leclerc but can Norris get it as well but here comes Norris he's not going to get the double not going to make the ambitious dive down the inside, Leclerc's still there, and Leclerc still holding out, and it's side by side still as we go down Harmon Avenue, down the pit straight, and I think Leclerc might just have it here, unless Norris can swing around the outside, this is so so tight between the two drivers, but Lando Norris holding out around the outside, and I don't think it's just enough there, Leclerc holds on, but just just about but now they've ruined their gap and Alonso might just as well pull away from the threat of Charles Leclerc and Lando Norris and they're going at it again Norris push towards the wall as we go towards the MSG sphere once again round the outside goes Charles Leclerc Norris to the inside he's got to be very very careful Leclerc just riding the curbs just a bit too much but Norris does an excellent job and they're still still side by side as we come onto Sands past the monorail down through the Palazzo Venetian and down towards turn 12 and Norris takes fourth place it's a very very good move from Lando Norris who holds out but now Charles Leclerc will have DRS as we go down the strip and Leclerc in his Ferrari, swoops around the outside will Norris tuck him behind to try and get a bit of that slipstream, he won't strangely he won't Verstappen and Stroll still going at it behind in 6th and 7th but here we are again, on to Harmon Avenue once more, lap 28 has begun the gap between the two leaders is two, uh, two front two, sorry, is 2.2 seconds. Alonso holding back a gap of 17 seconds. So they've got a free stop if the Mercedes want it. But they will need to be extremely careful. There could be a safety car in this race and there might just be a few more surprises as we get towards the end of the race. Here's Lewis Hamilton, he's gathered now 1.6 seconds on Elliott West. 1.7 now as we come towards the strip it's going to be very very tight but West is well, he's enjoying the free air definitely at the front of the pack today it's been quite an, in, quite an impressive performance from the Brit but Lewis Hamilton will need to get chase we need to give chase to to West here if he's going to really give it a go but 2.1 in West is pulling out 6 temps just for the use of the new engine Lewis Hamilton has had to change components of his, uh, of his engine especially in Brazil in the previous round and also in Japan as well he changed components Los Ale he swept through to victory straight away after West had a opening lap scuffle down Cove Lane once more riding on the board with LA West now as we go down towards the MSG Sphere this incredible little section tight and twisty it's like Monaco and now through turn nine as we go past the elevated monorail and the two Mercedes are controlling 
not just Formula One, but the championship once again. Mercedes are showing they're a works team who mean absolute business. And Norris and Leclerc are still going at it. Leclerc pushing Norris. And Norris, it's just like deja vu all over again. What an incredible little battle this is. Norris and Leclerc sailing all the way through. But this is the incredible battle. 20 laps to go here at Las Vegas. In Sin City, on the strip. We go past the Mirage and Treasure Island. All the way down towards Flamingo, Caesar's Palace, Paris and Bellagio map fountains. This is quite an incredible. In the real race, we'll hopefully get a few incredible night shots of the of the circuit and it's absolute beauty but Norris and Leclerc still battling and going at it 3.6 between West and Hamilton now Verstappen and Stroll are still battling out Stroll's managing to keep with Max Verstappen and this is quite a quite a surprise because the Aston Martin and Lance Stroll have not well they've not been friendly to each other this so far this season Stroll down in the mid pack but finds himself in a very very good position here today But Leclerc and Norris pushing each other to the limit and pushing their tyres to the limit too. If you're a soft runner, you'll definitely be wanting to pit in a couple of laps. But if you're a medium runner, you'll probably hold out until about lap 40. But Norris, they're not catching Alonso, they're kind of dropping off a bit. But Alonso also dropping off at uh, the top of the table. at the Las Vegas skyline and well Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc are really really putting on a spectacle here on the strip and Norris will defend the inside here comes Leclerc once more and Leclerc will get the outside line and send it through into 14, 15 and 16 and that is a nice move once again from the Monagas driver well, Lando Norris with the Woking based McLaren team is really, really giving it a go here. And Charles Leclerc and Norris. Well, this could happen all race long if they get it right. They're going to have to box. They might pit together. They might also go through to the checkered flag. And this is going to be quite an incredible spectacle. But Norris pulls to the left hand side and Charles Leclerc is absolutely sorted. Verstappen and Stroll in the background are still battling it out and you can see them here. Stroll's ahead. But it's battle central here in Las Vegas. Blink and you'll miss it. But Alonso really, really pulling out that that gap and losing time to the two Mercedes ahead. The two Mercedes are just unbeatable at the minute. But Norris and Leclerc still going for it. And Norris coming down straight now. And Leclerc pulls to the left hand side. He will have the inside line once again. But now we should be seeing some pit stops very, very soon. Especially from these two. But the battling won't be doing any help to their tyres at all. The more, the more aggressive you are, the more pressure and force you put on the tyres, you will slowly burn away their tyre life and their rubber. Norris now following following the Claire right onto Coval Lane as we run down towards turn five. He's at the DRS once again. The Claire moves to the inside. Norris moves to the outside and gets the move. Very, very nicely done. 
from Charles Leclerc and Lando Norris keeping it nice and safe out on track. But Verstappen has pitted once again. I think he was struggling with Lance Stroll. But if a safety car came out, Max Verstappen would be in prime position to take the lead potentially at the Grand Prix. But Hamilton flying down the strip and so is West. A five second gap now as West and Hamilton are really, really flying it. Flying today, and whoa, West going deep. Those soft, uh, the medium tyres, sorry, are slightly worn. But West is, oof, hit the wall outside there. That's going to take a bit of life for the tyre. Bang the side tyre wall, and you will lose a bit. The, want to, back lights on the car, flashing to say there's no battery left. Please recharge me. But Norris and Leclerc side by side going through 15, 16, 17. And Norris sailing ahead now. But Lance Stroll slowly catch this group. But look at Oscar Piastri, he's also in, a t in chance and in contention today. Look at this, from Oscar Piastri. Signs will now look to the inside but he decides against it. Might as well wait for the DRS zone. But here comes Signs on Piastri once more, and Signs down the inside. Piastri will try and fight it, but not quite enough for the Australian down under. But the order on lap 34 as it stands, West, Hamilton, Alonso, Norris, Leclerc, Stroll, Sainz, Piastri, Albon, Ocon, Verstappen, Hülkenberg, Gasly, Joe, Magnussen, De Vries, Bottas, Sonoda, Sargent and Perez who is out. But here comes Piastri now, sailing through and Albon might have a bit something to say about this here. Albon's really dropped down the field, he's on a set of mediums now. But it's not helped him today, those two those two soft stints. But the car, he's slowly dropping back, unfortunately, from starting second place. But he'll make up a position here on Oscar Piastri. He sails into eighth place. But the McLaren is still holding neck and neck with, with the Williams. And I don't know if Ocon's going to have a go here. But Esteban Ocon is sailing through past Piastri. And Piastri's lost out hugely there. Shake of the wheel and exit. 7.2 seconds now between West and Hamilton. West is slowly running away with it out in front. I think a lot of these car, a lot of the cars are, are moving on and keeping in time with their tyres. And here comes Piastri. He's really, really lost the gap to, to Ocon and Albon here. Verstappen's hunting behind and on the fresh mediums. He's rather quite enjoying this today, I think, Max Verstappen. He's, apart from uh, his earlier incident with West out front, could have been in the lead and battling with, with him. But here comes Ocon and Albon, straight towards the strip. And now Esteban Ocon will have to defend from Alex Albon. Sainz just pulled out a very nice two second gap over the past lap. But here we are then. Albon will search for the perfect passing place. And I think he's got it here. Alex Albon sails into eighth place. And Piastri is now going to take on Ocon as well. This could be a very, very messy here if it doesn't go wrong. And Verstappen is kind of linked onto the back of the train here, and they might be starting to make some moves, maybe on Coval Lane. But here is Verstappen. He might have a look down into turn one on the LP, but he holds it quite nicely. Ocon, Piastri and Albon ahead. As we come onto Coval Lane now, 
but Verstappen here is coming down Coval Lane towards turn 5, he blocks off, he's got the DRS but Ocon and Piastri kind of, hurt, kind of hurting Verstappen here and holding him up on his race pace but Leclerc still chasing Norris we go for a little race update here Alonso sailing through onto the strip but here's West, oh no! West hits the wall and he's lost his front wing he's close to the pit lane but the safety car has been brought out but West, that is not good news at all for Mercedes. It's scrambling in the pit lane. I don't think they expect him this soon. But West comes into the pit. And I believe Mercedes are double stacking. It's the famous double stack from the Brackley Works team. And Alonso, he's just exiting turn 16. He's They've got time, but Hamilton's being held up in the pits. And this is not what you want if you've got Fernando Alonso, but Alonso pits as well. I think the whole field might pit here. The top six are definitely pitting, but Lewis Hamilton comes out back again in second place. But this could be a battle for the ages. A battle for the World Championship and dominance going towards Abu Dhabi. If both of them retire, it goes to Abu Dhabi. If one of them retires, I think if Hamilton retires, the championship will go to West today. But Hamilton is in is in a prime position to maybe get his race back on track. But Verstappen profits from this the most. And wow, he's going to be up, up there for sure. But a lot of the cars are going for the hard tyre here and the whole compound. Which doesn't make a lot of sense for 13 laps. But you're gonna have, if you run out of tyres, you're not going to have... If you run out of the preferred tyre compound for this last stint, you're going to go on the other ones. Well, well. We thought we'd see a safety car a bit earlier, but... Well, he's a very, very lucky boy. But Hamilton will be in a prime position, and he's got the experience to go on the attack... It's soft for Hamilton, soft for West. So it will just be fresh tyres against fresh tyres and a battle down the strip in Las Vegas for one last time. For Verstappen on the medium. Alonso also, I believe, is on the hard. I didn't quite catch it, but Verstappen on the medium tyre, he's profited very, very well from this having boxed a few laps prior but Leclerc on the soft he's still ahead of Norris and uh, their battle was something to see we'll see what Norris has gone on to, he's on the soft as well but all the cars have changed but Stroll hard, Gasly hard, Gasly medium, Sainz hard, Albon hard, Ocon hard Piastri on the hard as well. This is going to be a very, very exciting finish. But Yuki Tsunoda just running off the last corner on the mediums. Hulkenberg on the hards. Guan Yu Zhou still going. Magnussen is exiting the strip. De Vries still on the strip with Bottas and Logan Sargent as well. But this is quite exciting. Uh, it's the safety cars just on Koval Lane right now. And... Well, I'm not sure what to what to expect. I'm not sure what you'll be expecting at home. But we will see as the drivers come past the MSG Sphere section of uh, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And this, uh, well, it's a first for Las Vegas and safety car, it was always expected when uh, the media analysed the track and saw what was saw what possibilities there were well we've got an incredible battle up ahead for us there's probably going to be another lap of safety car safety car running here but uh, 
while that debris from West's front wing gets cleared up. He's very, very lucky to, well, even be in first place after that incident. He just went onto the marbles on worn tyres and don't have the grip, really, do you, as you go through. But the safety car staying out one more lap. As the order all still builds up, Logan Sargent nine seconds behind. But West has not lapped anyone today, I believe. Hearing a few things on the radio that Verstappen is. Uh, Talking about uh, safety car speed and Hamilton and Alonso are apparently doing the same as well. I suppose if you're on a track with loads of straights, then it might just very well be the case. West is trying to find some air either side of the safety car. Well, the Las Vegas skyline is, well, the new addition just on the right there, the MSG Sphere. So we'll roll down Sands Avenue and, uh, and the monorail. But this should be the last lap and the last uh, time down the strip for the safety car. It's all going to be about getting these tyres and brakes warmed up and up to racing temperature so when it gets back to racing speed, well, West can maybe fly off in the distance. Well, Hamilton may be going for it. But the safety car is confirmed in at the end of this lap. Lewis Hamilton then to try and narrow the gap in the championship, going to Abu Dhabi next week. Will we see fireworks or will we see an absolutely incredible finish? But here is West, he's going to hold the pack up. Lewis Hamilton in pursuit, Alonso behind, the top three await the restart and West is controlling the pace, controlling the field and he's He's gone. West goes for it and he's going to cross the line to start lap number 40. Ten laps to go at the Las Vegas Grand Prix. And can someone defend, or can West defend from Lewis Hamilton the experience, the wealth of experience that he's got? But here we are, down Coval Lane. No DRS for three laps, remember. Once the safety car comes out, you're not going to have DRS for a few laps. So Lewis has got to stay within one second for the next couple of laps until he can get that DRS to get the overtake done. But Max Verstappen in fourth, he's going to look to run the field. Maybe give the Mercedes a bit of a challenge. But the championship standings as it stands, 394 for West and Hamilton on 383. This could get very, very interesting and very, very messy if Hamilton really, really decides to go for it. Brakes late on the brakes. And now Hamilton will go down the strip and take on West. He's eight tenths behind. He's going to use all the overtake he can to keep within that one second margin. And West is still, he's still weaving for tyre heat on the straight. And look at Stroll and Alonso and Verstappen, sorry. Alonso pulling out to the left-hand side, trying to defend on the hard tyres from Max Verstappen, but he'll have the outside. And Alonso still keeps Verstappen behind, just about. And Lewis Hamilton still keeping with with West, he's, he's trying, he's falling back just a little bit. But West makes a mistake, I think. And Hamilton will be right on his tail, going through onto Coval Lane. And Hamilton will have the slipstream going down towards turn five. And West is in huge, huge trouble here. And Hamilton will sail down the inside and go for it into turn five. 
past the Caesars Forum and into the MSG Sphere section. Now, Hamilton and West, it's going to all change. Hamilton leads, it's 390 to 387. And Hamilton will really, really remember this one. But West is right on Hamilton's tail now as we go down towards the strip once again of turn 12. Through Sands Avenue we go and West is going to sail hopefully past Lewis Hamilton on the strip but Lewis Hamilton will try and hold on seven tenths between the two of them and what will be the closing speed between them two here it's number seven versus number 44 here comes West he's got all of his settings maxed down to try and overtake Lewis Hamilton Hamilton pushing him towards the wall and how West will pull to the right hand side and try to stick it round the outside, Lewis still has a, a foot in, that's a brilliant move from West and incredible stuff from the two Mercedes drivers keeping it clean it's like Hamilton and Rosberg back in Bahrain 2014 oh now West taking a bit of a an odd line, he's going to get a warning from race, race control for that a little bit of corner cutting but uh, now DRS is enabled as we will come onto the Coval Lane straight as Lewis Hamilton will look to close up on West we go past Caesars Forum and go all the way around and Lewis Hamilton who's trying here and Hamilton sticks a wheel down the inside and pushes West wide but what a move from Lewis Hamilton that is But he has done absolutely superbly. And West will follow Hamilton all the way to the strip where the maximum speeds will be revealed. Hamilton and West are being caught by Verstappen. He's 2.2 behind. He's managed to get in front of Alonso. But it all depends what's going to happen down the strip here. But West is really closed up without DRS even. And West will pull to the right hand side. And look at this from West. Still keeping it inside. Hamilton will tuck back in to get the slipstream. And he might have another go here. But he pulls in right past the camera. So, so close. But Hamilton risked it. Oh, Hamilton risked it. And he went just a bit over the curb. And he's going to receive a warning from race control now as well. Lewis Hamilton. Almost causing another. And West's already been warned for that. And I don't think... Well, I think race control won't mind too much considering what Hamilton did at the last corner. But West is really, really being caught under the brakes by Hamilton here. But Hamilton really, really going for it now. Down Coval Lane once more. And he pulls the left hand side. Oh, he's done the switch back. And Hamilton takes first place once again. West still stood still. And West, he'll try the inside here, and always oh, pushed Hamilton just a bit wide. I think it's fair. But what a battle this is at the front. But Leclerc has now got into third place. Verstappen's dropping back a bit. And so if the Mercedes want to win, this could be it for them today. Hamilton trying to find the clean air. And he's going to look down the inside and stick a wheel up the inside. This can't be do or die for Hamilton. He knows what's at stake. The World Championship. Taking a lead into Abu Dhabi will be so vital for mental... mental uh, uh, so vital mentally. But West having to defend from Hamilton once more. He's going to sail all the way around the outside Lewis Hamilton. And he might try one again. West on the brakes. Trying to keep it in together. And West will not not quite keep it Alonso back up in third place the battle for the last podium spot is being contested by Alonso Leclerc Verstappen and Norris and Lance Stroll even as well who is in behind too but West will get the get the position back in turn into turn one that was very very nicely done by the two Mercedes drivers this is a battle they'll be remembered in Formula One history for years but Hamilton now trying to put the pressure on West once again. 2.6 or 2 attempts, sorry. And now Hamilton will stick it down the inside. And West is so close to the wall, he almost touches it. It's so close. And the two Mercedes drivers once again. 
third is being contested so heavily. And Wesley pushes down the inside and pushes Hamilton wide. He's going to let them through. Uh, let Lewis through once again. Just a bit too late on the brakes. And that's really opened them up now to the battle between third and seventh. And this is getting so tight. Anyone thinks the win could be possible here. And West is really, really trying it here. He's really, really trying it. But Alonso might have DRS. He was within 9 tenths. I think he was 9 tenths in the detection zone. But he don't know, he's not got it. But Lewis Hamilton under pressure once again from West, who moves to the left hand side by the wall. Leclerc and Verstappen also, also battling at the back. And I think they're going to go free wide as they go into turn 14. But West gets ahead once more of Lewis Hamilton. You feel the roar of the hybrids as you come into the main straight. Five to go here in Las Vegas. 394 to 383 between West and Hamilton. Here in Las Vegas. Now, back onto Coval Lane once more, and Lewis Hamilton is going to close up on West once again with a DRS. Gets the gap down to four temps, and now Hamilton will really start to apply the pressure. And through the MSG sphere they go. Hamilton's right on West tail, and this is getting incredibly, incredibly exciting here. But here comes West. And Hamilton down Sands Avenue once more towards turn 12. And Hamilton is really, really closing up on West. And he might try one into the turn 12. And he pushes him wide. But I don't know who got the detection point for DRS. And I don't think it was even Hamilton though gets the DRS. And he's going to send it all the way down the strip. But West will pull to the left-hand side. They're still battling all the way down the strip. Hamilton with the DRS. West down on the brakes. And he keeps the position. West is so, so close between the two Mercedes teammates. This is racing. Formula One racing at its finest. Here in Las Vegas, the first ever Las Vegas GP. And what a race this is. Not many laps left here for Hamilton to maybe try something. Verstappen is 2.2 behind Hamilton. And still, this is absolutely incredible. But Verstappen leading the pack of Alonso, Leclerc, Norris and Stroll. And Sainz now is caught onto the back of the Piastri. He's got a bit of a gap behind, behind Sainz, but... Verstappen might have Hamilton in his sights if he can get a bit of a break here. If West and Hamilton battle a bit more. Well, who knows? This group could be thrown right into the mix and the door might be thrown wide open as to who wins this Grand Prix. But if West gets touched by Hamilton it could be all over 1.8 seconds and Lewis Hamilton is really really dropping off the pace now the tyres might be gone but Lance Stroll still chasing Alonso the Astons are having a great day against the Red Bulls and the Ferraris and the McLarens as Fernando Alonso the Matador is still fighting Max Verstappen Well, that's what you don't want is if you're Lewis Hamilton to your greatest rivals right up on your rear wing but West I think has fallen back and Hamilton is going to come back at Lewis Hamilton come back at Elliot West here Hamilton still on the rear wing of West as we come into the MSG Sphere section and Lewis Hamilton is really really closing up West takes a tighter line Going through into the sphere section. 
but Lewis Hamilton still still searching to try and get away past and he'll have the DRS as we go through on, on, onto the strip but oh Lewis had a full think about it there but Hamilton still gonna chase as he comes down the Las Vegas strip one more time he's only gonna have three opportunities more to do it but West oh he, oh, he hits the wall West hits the wall I think it's a small brush but that's gonna knock his momentum down and I don't think an all oh, West is going to try one and all. Oh, he has to switch back on, on Lewis Hamilton. This is incredible racing. And he hits the wall nearly again. West needs to come. It only touches well on the straight. Hamilton and West need to calm it down. This is getting too out of hand. Toto Wolf on the radio to them both. But West and Hamilton are battling this out and maybe handing it into Vax Verstappen's hands here or well, Hamilton round the outside but West one tenth in front Lewis Hamilton but West will try and get it down into turn five a heavy braking zone and Lewis Hamilton holds around the outside he knows how much it's or to how much is at stake but look at Ham look at Verstappen he's really really closed up now and Hamilton might try another one he just clips West's rear tyre but it's not quite enough but the battle for first is really really hotting up here West Hamilton and now Verstappen is right in the mix and Hamilton he's gonna try the outside going down towards the strip Hamilton can't quite get there he's so close I don't know who's gonna get the DRS here is it going to be Hamilton or is it going to be West? And West gets the rear wheel and open. Hamilton didn't get the detection point. And now Max Verstappen's right on his tail. Max versus Shade of 2021 all over again. But Hamilton moves towards the left hand side. And it's not quite enough for Lewis there. But Verstappen takes second place and he might go for more. We know what happened earlier on the Grand Prix of West. We know what happened in 2021 with, with Lewis Hamilton, but Max Verstappen might have another crack at this at race victory today. This is quite the spectacle for both Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. But Verstappen is out of the second one second range that Ellie West is giving. But Hamilton will pull to the right hand side and Verstappen will slow the car down very, very carefully and it's just very very gingerly two laps to go here the Las Vegas GP and this is quite an incredible incredible race here Hamilton in second place holding on to the championship but if Verstappen passes him he's going to be even bigger going into Abu Dhabi be 394 to 380 in the championship standings but West has sort of run away with it now he can't be sitting pretty though He's still got one more lap to go, but Verstappen and Alonso now might have a crack at Lewis Hamilton for that second place. Lando Norris maybe as well, who knows? But here comes Verstappen, here comes Fernando Alonso. Verstappen pulls to the left hand side, and so does uh, the right hand side, sorry, and so does Alonso. Hamilton might be forced out here and forced by Alonso who's very aggressive going through 14, 15 and 16 and as we go down Harmon Avenue this might be one last one last attempt and uh, Verstappen sort of drifts away and now Norris also on their tail but this is all like 2007 all over again Lewis Hamilton sticking on the outside here and he won't have the DRS now so he'll have to defend with all he's got Lewis Hamilton trying to face off Fernando Alonso and Lando Norris is now getting involved in the mix too but forcing him off Hamilton's dropped to fourth and the tyres are really really showing their age right here Hamilton still trying to follow Alonso this is the last lap of the Grand Prix. If you're going to make a move, it's got to be now. And Lando Norris might have a go on the strip. 
but Hamilton is really, really on the back of Fernando Alonso trying to make him and force him into a mistake. But Alonso will not yield if he is even attempted at being overtaken on the strip. But Lewis Hamilton should have the DRS. So will Lando Norris. Might there be something and a big surprise right at the end of the Grand Prix. Here comes Lewis Hamilton. As he comes down the strip, Lando Norris is the exact same. Pulls to the right hand side on Fernando Alonso. He'll have the outside and he's got it. Got the move straight done. Alonso won't try anything funny on the brakes. But Lewis Hamilton comes through. But it was only with one man today. Elliot West wins the Las Vegas Grand Prix, the first edition. Max Verstappen comes home in second. But Lewis Hamilton will come home in third. But what a day it's been for the Mercedes team. But Hamilton will be in trouble. Lando Norris gets driver of the day for McLaren, he'll be very happy with that, but the championship standings, 14 points going into Abu Dhabi next week, well not a bad race at all, and not bad for Aston Martin today, but Max Verstappen beating Lewis Hamilton once again, but those points will be so so crucial going into next week at Abu Dhabi.